Cynthia Trimble coming at you from Los Angeles, from the West End, from a big AMTC event that just wrapped where I met this awesome, awesome dude. <laughs> Which means? Righteous in faith, increase abundantly. Pretty awesome, right? This guy's got some moves. This guy can lay down the rhymes and he can move. I mean, I was just like, woo, even in the dress rehearsal, I was like, yeah, brother, go, go, you go. Man, I'm telling you, and then I sat down with him one morning. I saw him down here. I was doing my devotionals, and I just said, you know, I want to get to know this guy. I was talking to him. His story's amazing. I mean, there's just so many amazing points, but I just, we just want to talk for a couple minutes here. So one of the first things I want to ask you is what put it in your heart to um, join AMTC? Well, I had been hearing about AMTC for years. I've seen the billboards in Houston sometimes, so it had my, I had, it had an interest. I had an interest in it. I heard the radio promotions for it. Well, it really did it for me. I rapped on a cruise to the Bahamas, and there was another artist on there, a young lady that I met, who, who I found out had been through the AMTC tour when I connected with her on Facebook. I saw it there. When I saw it there, I was like, okay, I keep seeing this. I need to see what it's all about. Right. So that's what made me go to the website and I checked it out, saw all the people they had worked with, and that made me want to sign up for it. That's very cool. And I'm so glad that you did. Because it's a great launching pad for so many artists mm -hmm. in this industry, and, and it was so wonderful just to meet and connect with so many people. Like, I met you, and I want to work with this guy. I mean, and so one of the things, um, a lot of your stuff is really powerful. Some is just really fun and lighthearted, and a lot of people um, play your rhymes at like um, weddings and certain things. Like, let's let's talk about some of your um, some of those mixed songs. Okay. Well, I'm kind of the line dance creator for Christian line dances. Um, I have the gospel step. That's what I'm known for. It started in 2009, but after that, I wanted to go back and pick it up and do a Christian version of the Wobble and a Christian version of the Cupid Shuffle. And those actually have became pretty big on you know, my Death to Me Mixtape Volume 1. DJs all over the nation thank me for making those because you know DJs, even if they're Christian DJs, they want the people to dance when they play music. So they thank God that- with the DJ? Yeah, at, at Christian events and stuff. And when they do Christian weddings and all that kind of stuff, they do that, so. You ladies filming. Want to see a little something? Oh yeah! <laughs> Show me. Let's, let's do something. I'm gonna teach you how to do the gospel stuff. Let's do it. Can All I right? do it in heels, or do I need to kick them off? You can do it in heels. You can try to do it in heels. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's so do it. Let's do it. Ready? First thing you do when you do the gospel step is yeah. step it to the left. <laughs> then you step it to the right. You step back with your left foot. Yeah, just like that. Then you step forward with your right foot. Then you step to the left again. Then you step to the right. Now this is the tricky part. Cross your left over your right foot, turn the half turn behind. You cross the right over your left foot. <laughs> I can do it. Turn can't to do the it left. Heels. Like all the mother dances, all right? Well, I'll show y'all, I'll show it to y'all real time. Let's do all it. Right, I'm gonna say the Watch hook. it. Just do it. Lay it down. Ready? Go. Go. Step it to the left. Step it to the right. Step it on back. Never step it up for Christ. Do the gospel still. Do the gospel still. Do the gospel still. Do the gospel still. My brother! Oh yeah. That's right. That's right. So if one's in these heels, I could probably do it. She's laughing at me. She's like, oh girl, no, no, there's no way you could do that. Alright. So that's some of the awesome stuff that he does. And man, he just flows on stage and he's amazing. And um, okay. So now let's talk about some of your serious stuff. I saw some of the music videos. Okay. And some of your stuff is pretty deep, pretty raw. This guy is fiercely raw. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And his lyrics are amazing. And just the emotion that comes out of it, it, it just really touched me. And it's like I didn't know whether to laugh or to cry or just like you, you just go on this emotional roller coaster, which every artist wants, I think, right? right. And that was the whole point to mm -hmm. take us on a beautiful journey. And you captured it so well. And so, do you want to talk about? I know it can be hard to talk about some of your stuff, but like um, some of the um, some of your music okay. that was just like so raw and so beautiful. The one that I did this weekend. There's there's one that you did this weekend that was really beautiful, and I know there's there's a music video that I saw in the bathtub, and you um, 
crying? Oh, well, that wasn't me. That was the actor in the video. That was the actor that's, in the video. That's actually but from that the addiction was, song that I did. That's, that's the this addiction week. song. That's the next that's the, okay. music video that'll be coming out. I actually have a it video. Was it was beautiful. It was so raw. I was like, wow. You went deep with that one. Well, really, basically, what that song is, I know everybody deals with some type of addiction or iniquity. Everybody has something. It might be food, it might be porn, it might be the, the opposite sex or something like that. It might be drugs, it might be cigarettes, it might be alcohol. So I wrote a song that touches a lot of people where the Holy Spirit is able to minister to them and what they're dealing with or what their addiction is. And that's what the song Addiction is about. And a lot of people have really gravitated towards that song. It actually became, has become the biggest song on my Fresh Man album, which is my latest album. And a lot of radio stations have it in rotation um, nationwide, even even some international stations also. So it's really been a blessing, and I'm glad that God used me to help people deal with those addictions through that song and bring that healing. And and the Lord will absolutely use that. I mean, it, it just touched me in such a way. That's why I was like, so this guy came. He was on his way back to Vegas. I just got back to the hotel for a night, and I'll, it it. I'm glad that we, we weren't able to connect all weekend um, to do this interview, and I'm so grateful that you did, because it's just, he has a powerful story, and I just hope that more people, um, through hearing this, can get to know you as a man. Not just the rapper, but the man behind the lyrics, the man behind all the music, because I know the Lord really is going to use you, because he, he impacted so many people just through your presence here this weekend. And through your music, I can absolutely see that. And, and, and yeah, this is my brother. And, and, and not only are we uh, brothers for life on this earth, but because we are Christians for all eternity. Amen. And, and all of us from AMTC Eastgate, just say we're part in there in heaven. Eastgate, that's yep. right, that's right. AMTC fail. <laughs> that's right. Actors, models, and talent for Christ, wonderful, wonderful thing. And um, also, one last thing. Um, because I've um, interviewed a few different um, artists this weekend, and the thing that seemed to resonate the most was um, what they felt called to do. It's like there's a, a compulsion and a drive um, for your purpose and passion in life. And um, for you, that's definitely music, definitely rap. And, and how does that make you feel to have the stirring in you that keeps you moving forward when you are just how does that make you feel, having that as your purpose in life? Well, it actually it makes me feel fulfilled in the calling that God has placed on my life because I, I am, um, he's called me to do what I'm doing and to help bring people to Christ through those lyrics. I know there's all types of people that we are supposed to touch through our ministry and seeds that we're supposed to plant. And I'm able to do that through the music. Because whenever I write a song, I always pray first. And I sit and listen to the beat. And I wait on the Holy Spirit to download the lyrics to my brain. And then I start writing. I don't write anything until he starts speaking to me and actually giving me what I need to write. Actually, really, he gives me the rhythm of how the words are going to go. Then he gives me the words to do that he wants me to minister to people with through that. So that's, that's a lesson I'm, I'm happy I can be a blessing. But like I always say, all glory go to God, none of me. I always say that before I do any show. Absolutely. And I'm so hoping that we get a chance to work together. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Definitely. Whether it's through acting, but definitely, I'm going to lay down some arms with your brother. I'm going to do all some right. dancing with him. As soon as I get my little throat issue, I need my tonsils out. As soon as I get that fixed, <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I'm so there. And um, should we throw him out with a little something? Oh, you want me to spit some? You, should, you just spit some out. Let's just do it, man. All right. Well, you're doing it on me because I can't do nothing right now with my voice. Quite a time when I rhyme, repping Christ all the time, praise and worship time, prime time repeated like vine. When the beat drops, the church jump like kids on a mattress. No ceiling, prosthetic pillow top, I some actress or actors in. Here we repping Christ with no fear. No t shirt needed, you see your word fed up in here. I speak life over your life, no more pain, hurt to strike. Yeah, I'm praying you never stray in and live a righteous life. In the name of Jesus, amen. Stand on Ephesians 3 and 20. Christians know they were scriptures, we got a plenty. It's good like good and plenty, M&M's are stuck. Burst out of our bellies, living water flow, we have no more thirst. Sprite, obey your thirst, your great, he'll drink it 95. Christians don't cuss no more, we sing it, Jesus is a lie. Poor jumping in his head, we lump it, we think we hot on something. See, we dump it, we stump it, we never fake our front end. Woo! Woo! There we have it! <laughs> Brothers and sisters, I'm so happy and so proud of 
and honored to have met this brother this weekend. We are brothers and sisters for life, and I'm so excited to be working with this guy in the future. Very, very excited, and um, we are out. Love you guys. Bye-bye.